Hello friends and welcome to my channel. SDXL 1.0 is out and it's a very exciting model. People are generating great things using SDXL 1.0 but at the same time a lot of people are finding it very hard to run SDXL in their automatic 11.11 installation. The best way to run SDXL 1.0 is running it inside your Comfy UI but still some people are having issues running it in their Comfy UI but that's not a problem with Comfy. That's a problem with Windows. I think when you run something like Comfy UI or Automatic 1111, it is actually fighting with the Windows operating system to get control of the resources so that it can give you the fastest result. Unfortunately, Windows operating system doesn't seem to give enough resources to Comfy UI or Automatic 1111 to be able to run SDXL 1.0 smoothly in the system. So that is why I have installed Linux in my computer. My computer is an 8th generation Core i7 processor with a 3060 Ti GPU which only has 8 GB of VRAM. I'm getting very fast generation speed. I'll show you my generation speed and I'll also show you how you can run SDXL 1.0 inside Comfy UI without having to deal with any of the complexities of Comfy UI at all. So I'm in my Linux installation on my computer. So if you want to download and uh, install Comfy UI, you have to uh, do that using the uh, command line interface. So I have actually already installed Comfy UI. I'm just going to show you the steps that you need to take. It's really very simple. This is a link for GitHub Comfy UI page. So you need to uh, go and uh, copy this. And then um, inside Linux, uh, for example, I want to install Comfy UI inside, uh, let's say, my home folder. Okay. Uh, so I'll just. Uh, open terminal here and write git clone paste. So if you press enter, it will actually download and uh, copy the Comfy UI uh, files in your uh, hard drive. Then the next thing you need to do is you need to enter this uh, folder where you installed it. So in my case, I've installed it inside Comfy uh, UI uh, folder. So Comfy UI, so I'll need to enter Comfy UI by pressing cd dot slash and remember you have to uh, use the same capitalization. So the C and the UI are capital. So I'll write capital C, capital UI, and I've entered Comfy UI. The next step is written here. The next step is copy this dependencies. So you need to copy pip install r requirement.txt. So I'll copy this and I will paste it here and I will press enter and when you press enter it's going to download all the requirements everything that's needed uh, to run Comfy UI inside your uh, Linux installation. The same process is actually also true for Windows if you want to run it in Windows you need to do the same thing but in Windows uh, it's, a, it's a slightly different command prompt. So I've already installed uh, Comfy UI so I don't need to do that again I don't need to run that again. So now in order to run Comfy UI what I need to do is I need to write uh, python 3 main dot pi and then I'm going to press enter. So it's going to start Comfy UI. Now there are two more things which I strongly recommend that you download. Uh, the first one is the Comfy UI manager which is this one. I'll give you the link in the description. So you need to download this. You need to uh, download the zip file and then uh, after you've installed Comfy UI you need to enter here and you need to go to this folder called uh, custom nodes and copy paste the folder uh, the folder that you just unzipped so you need to unzip it and copy paste it in custom nodes and then if you want to run sdxl you need to download the comfy ui uh, sdxl workflow json file so i'll show you how you can just load this json file or any other json file and run all kinds of combinations of stable diffusion in your system so as you can see already my comfy ui is has started so I need to go to uh, this particular link. So I'll just copy it, paste it here, and I'm inside Comfy UI. So as you can see, because I have already installed uh, the Comfy UI manager, I have this manager here. So it gives you all kinds of uh, different options. I'll show you how to uh, use those options. And uh, already because I have tried a bit of uh, uh, SDXL in Comfy UI, so it looks like this. But in your case, it might look different. It will probably look something like this. So in your case, it might look something like this, which is the uh, standard uh, workflow for uh, Stable Diffusion 
So now I'm going to load the JSON file and it will become a SDXL workflow. So from here, we'll just uh, press load and I'll paste it to my desktop. Click here and now it has magically become the SDXL workflow. So just make sure that you choose the right checkpoints. So my checkpoint for SDXL1 is uh, uh, this one and my checkpoint for SDXL Refiner is this one. So you're all good to go and now I'm going to do my first render. In order to render, in order to create a generation, you need to press Q prompt. So uh, the first time it might take some time, but it will eventually generate the image. Okay, so as you can see, um, it generated the preview image using uh, the SDXL version 1 base and then used the refiner to uh, refine this image. If you look at both the images, um, we will see that there is a definite difference in quality. So it looks, uh, looks pretty rough and this looks pretty good. But uh, unfortunately, we don't have the upscaler uh, because the upscaling model is actually missing. It's not in our system. So this is where the manager actually comes in very handy. Uh, we can install a lot of things. We can install uh, various checkpoints and models uh, and everything using the manager. So that's why I asked you to install the manager in the first place. So let's go to manager and uh, let's install model. So what we want is we want an upscaler. So let's go with uh, this one or we can go with uh, ultra sharp. So yeah, let's go with ultra sharp. And as you can see, you can install a whole lot of things uh, embeddings, uh, checkpoints, clips, VAs, uh, the whole shebang. You can install control net uh, models as well. So you can sort of do everything from uh, this one place, the manager. You don't have to go to Hugging Face or Civita to search and download these uh, checkpoints and these files. It's all done inside ConfiUI. Okay, so it looks like it's installed. So click the refresh button. Okay, let's do that. Let's uh, the refresh button. Let's close that. Refresh button. Okay, and I think I should be able to choose. Yeah, Ultra Sharp is on. So okay, so let's uh, let's do this uh, generation again, and let's see if we uh, get the upscale image. So uh, the generation is very fast. That's one of the reason I'm using ConfUI, and that's one of the reason I'm using ConfUI inside Linux. Linux makes it very very fast, and ConfUI is very fast. So yeah, it's upscaling. So let's open this. So yeah, look at the resolution. It's very high resolution, very high quality. So that's the beauty of ConfiUI. So the best thing about ConfiUI is that if you have a file uh, which was created by someone else, you had an image which was generated by someone else, all you need to do is uh, load that image and all the generation data, the method, the procedure, everything will be revealed to you and you can start working on the same methods. So let's uh, test that out. Let's um, clear this uh, user interface and uh, let's load an image that my friend had sent me. And immediately you can see that all the things that are going on behind the scene of generating that image is actually uh, loaded in my ConfUI. I have the checkpoint that uh, he used, the refiner that he used, prompts and the negative prompts that he used, you know, even the seed and the everything. So whatever that he used uh, is actually you know, revealed to me and I can just generate the same image by queuing the prompt. But I'll just do a slight change because uh, my checkpoint is slightly different, so uh, my checkpoints are these for SDXL. And now I'll just queue the prompt. And it will actually process all of this uh, from the image, from the data available in the image, and give you the exact same image. Okay, so the generation is over, and let's see, let's compare. So as you can see, it gave us the exact same image. That's because all of the generation data had been pulled from this image to create the exact same image. So this is a great way to share generation data and all the nitty gritties that go inside making an image inside Stable Diffusion and give them to people who want to study your work or if you want to preserve your generation data, you can actually do that by creating images inside SDXL and all of the data is actually saved inside your image. So this is the reason why uh, I think you should be using ConfUI, especially for uh, SDXL generation. It's really fast and all of the complexity is actually managed for you. As you can see, I didn't have to do a single thing. All of the arrangements were done by other people. And all I did was put in my prompts and it generated great images. So friends, I hope you liked my video. If you like my video, please uh, subscribe my channel.
and I'll see you once again with another video on stable diffusion SDXL. Till then, goodbye.